Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, wellness, well-being, great events, and amazing people. Today, I have the privilege and honor of having the wonderful Vinny Diaquina of One on One uh, TV show. Welcome, Vinny. Well, hello. Great to be here. Oh, it's, it's so wonderful to have you. I remember your very first show, and you get better every day. <laughs> oh, thanks, Vinny. I appreciate that. And you touch so many people's lives in so many different ways. And I remember the very first time that you gave me that book, Kiss the Candy Days Goodbye, and you wrote in it, I hope all your days are sweet. And I remember that. I really yeah, do. That was, that was my first book. That yeah. was I was still teaching then. I was coaching. Uh-huh. Uh, the book actually came about because of one of the members on my team. Really? Yeah, there was a, a young boy, his name was Josh. Uh-huh. And his mother was a, a writer. Uh, okay. Actually, a pretty well-known writer. She written so many short stories for Red Book and, and so many other I magazines. That. Sure, sure. And, uh, I remember that. And Josh was my manager. He, that means he mopped the mats right. for the wrestling team. Right. And he gave the sweaty headgear. And I, sure. I said, Josh, what are you doing? Right. Why don't you wrestle for me? You're built like a wrestler. Yeah. He said, I can't. And I said, of course you can. He said, I can't. I said, why? He said, I can't tell you. And it took him a little while. Mm -hmm. Finally, he pulled me aside one time and he said, Coach, I have diabetes. And must have been the look on my face. And he looked at me and he said, and you don't know what that is. And I said, why? Well, don't know what it is. <laughs> and he said, uh, he said, well, and he explained it to me. Sure. And I said, give me time. Sure. So I researched, checked it all out. I went right. back to him and I said, Josh, you're wrong. Right. You can wrestle. Right. Now, true, you have to be very careful. You right. have to watch and control your diet. You have to control your weight. Right. But you can do it. Right. And he said, oh, I don't know. So I researched even more. And when I Amazing. checked out all the books on it, right. none of them fit Josh. Right. And they just were not books that would inspire him. Right. So I ended up writing one sure. uh, called Kiss the Candy Days Goodbye. Right. And it's kind of a strange name uh, because he didn't have to kiss the candy days goodbye. Right. What he had to do is adjust his life. Apparently, yes. And absolutely. one of the things that came across just right from the start mm -hmm. is... Every single one of us mm -hmm. is different in some way, shape, or form. Absolutely. Some are fatter, some are thinner, some are bigger, some are better looking. Right. Uh, <laughs> and the truth is, you just have to learn how to be the special kind of different that you are. Sure. So, so sure. It, he had to be a special kind of normal. Right. So after researching it, I right. saw that this kid was a hero. This kid was like about 12 years old. He was giving himself three injections a day. Wow. And wow. he was doing it. Wow. So it wasn't that his mother was, right. he was taking out his equipment and doing what he had to do. Sure, sure. And sure. he had to adjust right. to the person he was. Right. That's the whole idea of this book. Absolutely. That, sure. That you have to be who you have to be. Right. Right. And uh, it turned out that he stayed my manager, wow. <laughs> never actually did wrestle. But he, it did change his life in a sure. lot of ways. And he did sure. learn that there's nothing wrong with being different from other people. Right. It's what you do with that difference that you makes bet. all the difference in the world. No, absolutely. So Kiss the Candy Days Goodbye is based pretty much sure. on uh, a kid who has to change the way he lived. Right. Absolutely. Uh, and and I just recommended the book to a guy, Pete Caruso, oh, who great. has a scholarship to his son, Pete Caruso, the kickoff they're having on the 23rd of, uh, of this month. And I said to him, it's a phenomenal book because it's in a layman's terms that kids get very overwhelmed. I know with my patients in my offices yeah. with diabetes, juvenile onset diabetes and diabetes that they get very overwhelmed. But the way you wrote that book was well, in I such was, a layman's terms that it could help any, any I was influenced very early by an amazing author, Judy Bloom. Uh -huh. Judy Bloom was a pioneer in young adult literature uh -huh. because she pre represented kids, right. real kids. Right. And 
everyday kids. Uh -huh. Jimmy goes through things that a young wrestler would go through. He falls in love with the girl that he was his best friend. Uh, and he's human. And a lot of kids out there need people to identify with. Yeah, I am a do. bibliotherapist. Yeah. My master's degree right. was in bibliotherapy. Right. And what that pretty much is, is yeah. therapy through books. Wow. And it helps people to identify. Better. And for years, that's really, if I'm anything, I'm a crusader for people who need to be recognized for who they are. Right. And what they are. Absolutely. They have to accept themselves. We have to accept them for who they are. Very much so. Very much so. And you've had a wonderful, every, every, everywhere you go, everywhere you teach, everywhere you write, you touch so many, well, so many lives. I like to believe that. No, you do. Uh, you do, many. And when, you're, an, you're an inspiration. Really yeah, well. it's, it, I mean, Kiss the Candidates Goodbye, admittedly, however, right. is almost as old as I am <laughs> in a lot of ways because, right. and we have to remember that when we write a book that's based on medical issues, right. things change. Sure. So what a child with diabetes had to do in 1980 right. and what a child has to do now right. has changed considerably. Oh, it has. The it has. mindset right. hasn't really changed much. No, it has not. But... The physical things you have to do. Sure. Now there's pumps. There's so many different things. There are. And, and life is easier. Right. For children with diabetes. Exactly. But the uh, way, the way you posed in the book is, it's all right. We can handle it. Yeah. These are the steps. It's no big deal. And that is so um, helpful to children with diabetes because yeah. it says. It goes through all the symptoms. You bet. And the and symptoms you do it haven't so well. changed. No. And you do it in a way of, as far as the background of the story with the young lady and as far as being in the high school and the yeah. pressures and and sticking up for himself. But at the same time, there's an overall feeling that, you know, it's all right to be a diabetic. We can handle it. These are the steps. Yep. People do this. Have is what this. could happen. And as always, you have to go to a physician. When you're... When right. something is not right, right, I mean, Jimmy almost died yeah. because right. his Wait. parents and he right. ignored the right. signs. Right. right. Now, you can't ignore the right. signs. Right. And, uh, right. I mean, I should talk. You know, right. I, I, it was the same thing with me. Uh, I got very ill back in the 80s, and I, I just made believe it wasn't happening. You can't. Mm-hmm. If you, if you feel that there's something wrong, if you have that gut feeling that says something's wrong, uh -huh. you can't run away from it. Right. You have to face whatever it is right. that's bothering you. Right. Right. Very, very, very important. Yeah. So in this in this continual quest for these wonderful books, Grandma <laughs> Moses and Louis Pasteur, I mean, I worked as a scientist prior to my graduate work, so oh, wow. that fascinated me tremendously. Sybil Luddington. Ah. Uh, Please, When share. I... Moved up to Mahopak. Right. I discovered Sybil Luddington. I was on my way to school to teach. Mm -hmm. There was a sign. It said that she rode by this spot uh -huh. in 1777. Right. I had no idea who she was. Right. So uh, I went to the library, did some research, and I was amazed mm -hmm. because her history was all wrong. <laughs> uh, it, the books were saying that she had six children. I went to 22 cemeteries. Wow. If she had six children, they're still alive and walking around at 200 years old. Sure. So something was wrong. Right. They said she married Henry. Right. Ogden. Right. She didn't. Right. He was a lawyer in Catskill. He wasn't. Her son was a hero in Kansas. He wasn't. Wow. So it took three and a half years to right. straighten it out. Right. I thought. Right. I thought I did what Sybil wanted me to do right and in 2008 right i ended up writing another book uh -huh. called hauntings of the hudson river valley the book is about the fact that sybil was driving me nuts this lady was haunting me wow. because she was not satisfied in my mind over some simple facts one that her husband 
Well, first of all, her father, right. who was an amazing man. Right. This guy was in his first battle right. at 15 years old. Wow. And he watched his uncle and his cousin shot in front of him. Wow. He served his country and his county until he was 78 years old. This nice. man served in so many different capacities. Here, right right here in Dutchess County, which later became Putnam County, the man was amazing. Received almost no credit whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Sybil's husband. It took me three years to figure out who this guy was because they didn't even have his first name right. Right. And some were calling him Henry. Some were calling him Edward. Some, some were calling him Edmund. I finally was able to sort through that. Right. Found out that her husband served on the Bonham Richard with John Paul Jones. Wow. The man was a hero. Wow. She had a grandson. Yeah. She helped raise that boy. She sent him to West Point. Wow. Now, she stayed with her son. Sure. From the day he was born right. to the day he died. And she helped him raise his six children. One of those was Edmund Augustus Ogden. Wow. So when he finally joined the Army, well, first he went to West Point. When he finally joined, he was a hero in so many ways and ended up dying, saving women and children in Fort Riley in Kansas. Wow. Now, again, right. I went to Unadilla where this kid grew up. They had no idea who he was. Mm. To this day, there's a monument in the middle of the town they put up in 2016, yeah. his name is nowhere on that monument. Wow. So I understand now what she's after. Right. She has been haunting me. Right. So right. I just recently did a new book, uh -huh. Patriot Hero of the Hudson. First of all, she guided me to pension records uh -huh. that were in Washington, D.C. No one had seen them. They were in there a hundred years and they were practically ignored. Mm -hmm. That helped me find out who she was, and it gave me some very important information about her life. Well, 20 years later, 2017, I went back to work because I said, her father's not recognized, her husband's not recognized. None of those things were being recognized. Right. So I had to go back and do the things that I needed to do to to get it done. So just recently, the Daughters of the American Revolution right. have recognized her husband. Fantastic. And he's been made an American patriot. Fantastic. That's wonderful. Her yeah. son will be, or her grandson will be getting a brick on that uh, monument. monument. Mm -hmm. And... I'm working on the father now. You're working on the uh, father. So have, yeah. it's a commitment, and, it, and I, it's a belief in something and trying to stay with it sure. until it's completed. But that's that's what you're all about. Like I said, you, you have this, you're an inspiration. I was on a ship in the Greek islands, uh. and somebody said to me, you know that Vinny D'Aquino who's uh. on that show? <laughs> it's been on, what, we have 262 episodes? Yeah. I said this was in Agastoli. In the Greek wow. islands on That's a cruise wild. ship. That's so wild. you you touch so many people all the time. Just keep being you, yeah. and and thank you so much for being well, here. Thank you. It's such a privilege to have you on the show. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me, and yeah. thank you for doing what you do for all those people out there. Oh, thank uh, you. Keep doing it. Help people be who they need to be. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Vinny. you. Remember, when you eat well and feel great is something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, moderation is key. And thank you so much. Thank you to my crew. Have a nice night.